The Iveco Super AV is an amphibious armored personnel carrier, APC. It was developed as a private venture. The Super AV was first publicly revealed in 2009. It is likely that this APC was developed from Italian VBM Freccia 8x8 infantry fighting, which is used by the Italian Army. The Super AV is lighter than the Freccia and also has amphibious capability. This new armored vehicle was aimed both at a possible Italian Army requirement, as well as at export customers. However Italian Army showed no interest in this armored vehicle. A modified version of the Super AV was proposed to meet a US Marine Corps requirement for a new amphibious APC, which would replace their LAV-25. In 2018 the modified Super AV won the US Marine Corps competition and was adopted as the Amphibious Combat Vehicle ACV. Armor of the Super AV provides protection against small arms fire, artillery shell splinters, landmines and improvised explosive devices. Add-on armor kit can be fitted for a higher level of protection. This armored vehicle has a payload capacity of 9T for amphibious operation and 10T for land operation, so if required, it could carry significantly more armor for a higher level of protection. Vehicle is fitted with NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. Iveco claimed that at the time of its introduction the Super AV had the highest level of protection in its class. However there were no official information regarding its protection level. This armored vehicle can be fitted with various weapon systems, including remotely controlled weapon stations, or turrets with various cannons. This APC can carry 12 troops plus the driver. If a two-man turret is fitted, this number is reduced to eight troops. Dismounts enter and leave the vehicle via a rear power-operated ramp with integral doors. Also there are roof hatches for observation, firing, and emergency exit. This armored vehicle is powered by Iveco Cursor 13 turbocharged diesel engine, developing 500 to 560 horsepower. It is a multi-fuel engine, which can run on various grades of fuel. Engine is coupled to a ZF automatic transmission with 7 forward and 1 reverse speeds. Vehicle has a hydropneumatic suspension and 8x8 configuration. Steering is on first and second axles. Steering on fourth axle is proposed as an option. This APC is fitted with a central tire inflation system and run-flat tires. The Iveco Super AV is fully amphibious. It can operate at sea state 2 and beyond. On water it is propelled by two water jets. This APC is being proposed in two body widths, 2.7M and 3M. The last one has greater amphibious payload. Vehicle can be airlifted by an Airbus A400M or similar military transport aircraft. Variants Guarani is a Brazilian 6x6 APC. It was jointly developed by Iveco and Brazilian MOD. The program was known as VBTPMR. In Portuguese this acronym stands for Wheeled Medium Armored Personnel Carrier, Basic Platform. This project was also originally called the Urutu 3, though later it was renamed the Guarani. A contract was signed to develop this APC in 2007. First mock-up was revealed in 2009. Development was completed by 2011. The VBTPMP was a 6x6 armored personnel carrier, based on the Super AV. In 2012 Brazil ordered a first batch of 86 Guarani armored personnel carriers. These were delivered between 2013 and 2014. Full-scale production of the Guarani commenced in 2013. These new armored vehicles replace the aging Brazilian E-9 Cascaville armored cars and E-11 Urutu APCs. Amphibious Combat Vehicle ACV, was a US Marine Corps program, which called for a LAV-25 replacement. Originally it was known as Marine Personnel Carrier MPC, program. The original MPC program was cancelled in 2013 and merged in 2014 with the ACV program. It was required that the new armored vehicle would be produced in the USA. In order to meet this requirement Iveco teamed up with BAE Systems as an expediter for the US market. Hull of the Super AV was reshaped for improved buoyancy and higher amphibious speed on water. Also there were a number of other modifications. Vehicle was fitted with a more powerful Iveco Cursor 16 engine, developing 700 horsepower. The resulting vehicle had improved armor protection and better amphibious capabilities. The ACV has a crew of three and accommodates 13 Marines. 
Due to its improved amphibious capabilities it can operate up to a sea state 3. The Super AV competed with other designs, but in 2018 was selected as a winner. A contract was awarded to BAE Systems for the delivery of first 30 production vehicles. More of these vehicles will be ordered in the near future. It is planned that first production ACVs will enter service in 2019 to 2020. These will be produced at BAE Systems plants in the United States.